Welcome to day 2007 of What Shift to Now. Sharon Horn Nelson here, documenting and sharing the journey. Originally in 2018, I started actually doing videos. But prior to that, in 2017, after my divorce and selling my business, my main primary business back then, and a whole lot of other things, I decided I was old enough to retire, but I wasn't really done yet. So I wanted to uh, do something different. And I had always been curious about the internet. I hadn't really had time or energy to do much with it or on it ever, but had been curious about it. And obviously by, you know, 2017, I realized that the internet and the online world was here to stay. So I was curious about it and I decided I was gonna jump in with both feet and, and learn what I could and figure out what it was all about. And if I could duplicate my offline efforts in the online world and supersize and grow my businesses. It was a light bulb moment, an epiphany that led me to that, I, I would suppose. That's our idiom for today. And this is actually a really new idiom. It's only been around since 1974 when Dick Cavett uh, used it and compared it to the light bulb moment in a, a comic strip. Now, Felix the Cat is the first comic strip that's credited with using the light bulb in the little uh, idea bubbles above Felix the Cat's head in a comic strip. So it's a relatively new idiom, but I think it's really popular. We use it a lot to describe when we have an idea, an epiphany, an aha moment, when we finally have a lesson learned, go through our thick skulls, and we're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? And then we realize that we've known something all along that we should have been doing, but we're not doing it, etc. things like that. So that was our idiom for Supersize Your Business today. Our topic for the annual challenge, the Get Your Goals annual challenge, we're doing one thing every day to get what we want, and focusing on relationships this month, is to identify and have a process or a way of identifying your number one relationship goal. Because day after tomorrow, we are gonna start applying the goal process that we identified in January. We went through like 15, 20 different frameworks and models for dealing with goals and we, we created our own and at the end of each month we are going through day by day step by step of that model why so that we can get accustomed to it comfortable with it install it in our subconscious so whenever something comes up with respect to our goals we automatically on a subconscious level will run that through the process just like we use the soap framework whenever we're faced with a challenge a setback a, a problem that we need to solve my brain automatically on a subconscious level applies the SOAP framework and then starts serving me up what I need to do right now in order to solve that problem, deal with that challenge, etc. And the purpose of the annual challenge and doing our goal process every single month, we go over both the SOAP framework earlier in the month and at the last seven days of every month for each area and aspect of the life framework, we go through step by step, day by day, the process, the goal process, again, with the intention of installing it in our subconscious. So we have a tool that's built into us that automatically serves up better results for us moving forward in our life. And uh, how do we do that? We do that through repetition, right? We, we put a lot of bad habits into our system. So this is a way of consciously putting good habits into us so that we can automatically get the results that we want instead of just going through life willy-nilly and whatever happens we deal with or whatever happens we don't deal with and life just happens to us instead of us having a modicum of control of our own lives because guess what we get to create our own lives I say if I have that ability and power and control I'm gonna exercise it right so that's it it's Sunday here in my neck of the woods so I'm getting ready for next week as well as finishing off and enjoying some time with with family and friends this week. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Bye.